Fang Neves Knives. And Jared, my lovely wife, Kara, is busy. And this is a completely random knife video. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I just grabbed 10 knives and we're going to check them out. So this is the Rake P135. Rake makes really good knives. I never did the review on this knife because the unboxing just didn't get a lot of attention. So I figured nobody really cared. I, there's a lot of videos on this knife, but good quality knife. 14C 28 on blade steel, stainless steel handles. It does have this little lock if you want to be a little more harder use so it can't disengage. Deep Gary clip, great ergos, and great blade shape for EDC. Flipping action. These things are about, I don't know, 30 bucks, maybe 40. Yeah, I think they're 40 bucks, right around there. 40 bucks or less. But yeah, great knife. Like I said, 14C 28 end blade steel. Next up, the Ferrum Forge Prolic. Now, these knives are made by Wii, and this one is in Nitro V, if it'll focus. Nitro V Steel, which is a good steel. Um, G10, well, it's stainless steel liners with G10 overlay. So, it's got the, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Shadow boxing. Um, but yeah, Fair and Forge does really good designs. This thing has amazing, amazing action. Even the sound it has is really nice. I really like this knife. I like the jimping. It's well-placed jimping. More companies should place jimping in the right area instead of way back here. You know, they put it where you're actually going to use it. Good quality knife. Nice deep carry clip that is in set. So great, great clip. Love that clip. Not a big knife either. It's not a big knife at all. And these things go for like, I think 90 bucks or something like that, right around that area, give or take. Next up, the Tucson TS-116, I think it is. TS, the Tucson TS-116. Now this is a G10 handle. Um, oh, I think this is probably the first G10 of Tucson I tried because I always get their titanium frame locks because they make amazing titanium knives. Their G10 is also good quality stainless steel liners. Now this one has 14C 28 on blade steel. Nice, beautiful, real worn cliff. Now this thing is going to be a utility cutting beast. Nice finger choil up there. Also acts as a sharp ring choil. The action is really good on this. Prefers a light switch, but you can push button it. But it does prefer the light switch. Nice deep carry clip. And you can get these, you know, the price varies on these. But you can probably get them for about 40 bucks. But it just varies depending on where you get it from. Also, you can do the reverse flick. It is a little tight in there. But you can do it. Nice clicky detent. Next. Button lock Orion Solaris. Beautiful stone washed 14C 28 m blade steel. It is on multi row bearings. Thumb stud action and flipper action. G10 handles. Really nice in the hand. The action is really, really nice. You can use the button to flip it out if you want. It is definitely, definitely very fidgety. Titanium milled clip with a titanium ball milled into it. Very, very drop shutty with that button. The Orion Solaris. Full, or it's not a full flat grind, but it does have a nice tall flat grind. Gets down to a reasonable edge. And yeah, nice drop point blade. I love the stone washing on it. Good quality G10. You can get these in different colors and you get them with the carbon fiber. There's lots of different ways you can get this. Nice big stop pen. I love seeing big stop pens like that. Next. Oh yeah, these in this configuration was just under 90 bucks. Next, 
Spyderco Chubby. Now, this one I haven't done a review on because it's discontinued and I just don't know if a lot of people will be interested in watching it. This is somewhat of a collectible knife. They are a little bit hard to get, but they are sought after. So they still, you can still find them like, or not still, you can find them on eBay and people selling them. Um, they're not cheap, but they are very cool. Like I said, this is 113, nice, deep, deep hollow grind, very thin behind the edge. I love it when Spyderco does their hollow grinds. They do a great job on it. The action is really nice. Titanium frame lock, S30V, car carbon fiber inlays. The action is really smooth. The slow rolling action is really nice, but you can thumb and oop, huh, reverse flick it. Dang it. That's my fault. Had to redeem myself. But uh, yeah, nice, a cute tip. Really good for close uh, cutting, you know, for utility cuts, for slicing. But, you know, it's not a long blade, but it does have a, all belly. Even though it has all belly, it still has a nice acute tip. So it's a very useful blade. Titanium spring clip that hangs on very tight. G10 backspacer. Nice big stop pen. Very cool knife. You don't see too many of those. Next. The Medford Slim Midi. Now this one, man, I love this knife. I adore this knife. Love the colors of that falling leaf pattern. Love the bronzing. I, I just love this knife, period. The sound is incredible. Let's move the mic a little closer. I could do that all day. <laughs> the slow roll is really nice. It's very drop shutty. The reverse flicking action is incredibly easy because this groove is uh, nice and sharp. So it's very grippy to your fingers. Um, the access to lock bar is not really good, but it's not like crazy strong or anything to where it's not easy to, to flick. It's still even... That was my fault. Still easy to do left-handed. So it doesn't matter if I'm doing it right or left-handed. I can even have my finger on the lock bar. Oop. And I can still do it. Very, very nice. I love this knife. Now, this one is an S35VN stonewashed um, with a hand-done uh, hollow grind. This one gets very thin behind the edge. Mine's about 15 thousandths. It is nice and slim, too. Nice, thin blade stock. It cuts extremely well. USA made from Medford Knife and Tool. It does have external stop pins. I just love the sound of that lockup. Next, I'm just going over that one a little too long. <laughs> Next, the Concept Main Street. My car to handles. Nice, easily accessible thumb studs, 154CM, blacked out blade. The access to the lock bar is really easy, very smooth, but yeah, you got a lot of leverage behind those thumb studs. Great working knife. Nice, acute tip for utility cuts. Nice, straight edge. You know, for, uh, you got a, one, a lot of leverage into your cuts because this is such neutral grips. So with the neutral grips and that nice straight edge, it, you know, it's kind of like, just like a, you know, a utility blade on steroids, you know, it's a, it's a great working blade, titanium milled clip that works great. It works so good. The micarta is decent quality, especially for this price, um, I love my card. My card is some of my favorite handle material. So yeah, I, man, this thing, this is a great, great value. Love this knife. 
Next, the Monterey Bay Knives ECZ 2.0. This one is the integral Ray Laconico design. I like Ray Laconico's designs. This is a bit of a gent carry. Really good flipping action. It's not drop shutty, but it's not really for that. It's nice centering. It is a straightforward knife. Relatively thin behind the edge. Took a really good edge, too. I think this one's in 20 CV. Or M390, one of the two. It doesn't... Where does it say it? It's either M390 or 20 CV, but... Titanium milled clip. And yeah, an integral means this is all just one solid piece. You see how there's not a seam. There's no uh, taking screws out. Just have the pivot, take the blade out. That's how you clean it out. Great knife. Great gent carry. And I can drop it shut if I really, really want to. I just have to give it a little effort. Next, the Real Steel Luna Boost. I recently did a review on this. What a good looking gent knife. It does have a removable thumb stud. So if you just want a pinch and roll open knife, you can have that. This comes in different versions with uh, the frame lock version or the slip joint version. This one's obviously the frame lock version. Great uh, titanium clip, beautiful colors. It just looks really good. Very easy to deploy to off of this thumb stud. Or, you know, it's also really nice just to slow roll it. Nice strong lockup, very thin grind and blade. So it's going to cut and work for you very well. Now, this isn't a hard use knife or anything like that, but just for a secondary knife or a gent knife, you know, just make sure you have a blade in your pocket. This will work great. And man, it just it looks so good. There's something to a knife that is so tight inside here. When you look inside here, you can't even see on the sides because the, the tolerances are so tight and everything fits so well together. There's just something to that where, yeah, the, it's just so tightly fit between the scales. You got to love that. Such a good looking little knife. The blade steel on this one is N690. Very good stainless steel. This is a poltergeist design. I love their skull logo. Looks really good. And the jimping right here, you know, it really locks you in between this jimping and this jimping. So you can get nice and close to the blade. Nice little sharpening notch. Yeah, good quality little knife. Yeah. Great deal on these two. Um, I think these are, oh man, well, how much were they? Damn it, I don't even remember. I think these are somewhere close to 100. The, it might be 130 for this one. I don't remember now. Doggone it. I'm sorry, guys. I'll write it on the screen, the price of this exact version. But they come in different versions, so there's going to be different price categories. So if you're interested in this, definitely just look them up, and you'll find different val different prices, depending on which one you get. Last but not least, the new Civivi Brazen Drop Point. Now, I am going to do a... I'm going to bring up another knife really quick because I'm about to do a versus on these two between the riffle and the brazen. So we'll see who comes out on top between these two knives because they're both incredible knives. The ergos, the action, the geometry, man, this thing is super smooth. The action is so good on this thing. Um, 14C 28M blade steel and Civivi is doing such a good job with their 14C. Um, steel uh, deep carry clip, G10 handles, steel liners, easy access to the lock bar. Very, very smooth. The thumb studs are very easy to get to. It's very natural. And the detent is very, very nice. Stupid smooth. The flipping action is also really good great detent 
nice flat ground blade, beautiful drop point. It's, I did do a full review on this if you want to watch it. Woo, that I just sticky, boy, sticky. Um, nice big hardware. Svivi does a killer job, and yeah, this is going to be a great heads-to-heads. -heads. And honestly, at this point, I don't even know who's going to win yet, so we'll see who wins between these two. This is the Svivi Riffle, just so you know. Um, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.